Got a neat one today. You know, it might be neat depending on how old you are. This is an old uh, trim line phone. AT&T maybe? Oh, Western Electric. Ooh. Remember? Well, some of you'll remember. Hard to text, though. Anyway, it wasn't working. Now, when I tried to hook it up, and it should actually work. Uh, it was purchased in 83. And BPA. So, Bell PA, maybe? I don't know. I was pretty young in 83. Uh, six? Five, six? Something like that. Let's see. February of 83, yeah, I was five. So, first things first, let's open it up and just make sure everything's clean because I suspect the only real problem is it's dirty. These things are built really well. I mean, they had to be. You had to be able to drop them and bang them into things. Really strong plastic. I uh, don't know what kind. Maybe they have it marked. Let's see. Strong. It's strong. Maybe ABS? I don't know. Somebody out there who knows can post and let me know. So we'll take the top off. We'll go to the bell section. This is the uh, ringer and this is the ringer and patch area, I guess we could say. And the hang up. So when you'd hang up the phone, let me zoom in a little bit. You can see that set of switches in there. So you'd hang up. It would brake connection on one side actually looks like it just breaks connection across the board yeah so that's a normally closed switch at least with how the spring is set up so when you hang up it makes it open breaks the circuit this is to the uh handset and those wires go right to here which go right back to here so this is just ringer uh, a volume control for the ringer see loud quiet and all it does is move a uh, mechanical damper in and out from the bell so these need a little squirt just because it's open got the deoxit nope open it that's good and I'll A little bit in there too now there's a possibility the cords bad that's the cord I'll probably buy a new one and I may just use a, a newer black uh, let me see if I have a newer one one sec All right and this is a, just saying it's a normal uh, focus just a normal cord that might be the whole problem with this one so I'll throw that one off to the side for now. So that connects into here. But I'm going to take this apart and clean it up as well. And it should be pretty easy. I used to take these apart when I was a kid. If they made all flathead screws like this, I'd be more happy with them. Wow, old school flat flex. <laughs> this is all uh, flexible here. It's like a ribbon cable. That's cool. And then let's see, this thing I took off up here. Is that a light bulb or? That's something. I forget about so much of these. What is that? It's an adjustable. Let me see, it's got a screw. Right here, it holds it in. It's gonna be something dopey like a light bulb. Actually, let me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's probably where the backlight bulb is for lighting up the buttons. All right, that's loose. 
Now let's take this out. Oh yeah, wow, I wonder if that, see, that guy right there, what is that? It looks like an LED, but this is 1983, well, they, unless it's red, but, wow, that's, let me move these out of the way, that's really interesting. Let's see, we got a capacitor. Where is that? Uh, that's probably a capacitor. Uh, and then the dialing mechanism. Let's get, zoom you back out here. I'm going to lift this flat flex off altogether so I can clean the screw contacts. And also tap the microphone. A lot of these had carbon microphones in them, and the carbon would start to cake up, and it wouldn't be as responsive. So you just kind of tap them and knock the carbon loose. All right, and then this one. the dialing mechanism is going to be kind of neat it's a uh, it's a switch that opens and closes rapidly or semi rapidly I guess <sighs> come on bracket there we go There we go, on the other bracket. There we are, just a little tight. And that's it. There's most of the insides. We have another switch. That's for, I believe, the hang up, the remote hang up button. You push that, and for call waiting, if you need to click over, you could do that. Or if you just want to hang up, pardon me, hang up and redial, you'd hit that. Still really curious about this light, though. I think I'm going to try a battery on it, see if I can get it to come on. Let's see, it goes through some kind of resistor. There's a diode. And a resistor. I don't know. That's weird. That contacts the microphone. This guy. And I don't think it's a carbon mic. Oh no, it's a carbon mic. I don't know if you can hear this. But yeah, that's a, there's carbon in here. So I just do this to knock all the carbon loose. And then... Just a little bit of, a little bit of contact cleaner. Let's get it on there. Now I'm gonna clean that out, all that crud. I'll get some air and blow that out too. And then the hang up switch. Now let's look at the dialing mechanism. That's this thing right here. Let's zoom you in. So as you turn it, it winds up, there's a spring, and then that, it's hard to do, my hand underneath, okay. So what then happens, focus, there we go. So when I let go, it's going to go past and hit this switch and make and break those contacts. Uh, it's going to, for every number, it's going to click once. So if you went to number three, it would go one, two, three. In this case, I'm all the way at zero, so it should do ten times. Let's see if we can see that. Happens a little fast, but that's about ten times. Let me get a little bit of contact cleaner on that, too. There 
I get a little closer. Well, I can't move it up closer, but I can zoom you in closer. Hmm. You can see there's a little cam that hits that. That's pretty crazy. Might as well take the uh, speaker, the ear speaker out too, and just clean any crud out from underneath it. Because I'm actually going to take this home and hook it up and use it on my landline. I don't honestly know if it'll be supported for dialing. I just thought of that, but whatever. It'll be cool to hear it ring when telemarketers call. Wow. This was built in 83, but it's all based off very old technology. Interesting. Alright, let me go clean this up, and then we'll put it back together.